What up? Day 21. Three weeks in. Three weeks into the bulk. I'm going to put a jumper on because it's actually quite cold today. And I'll see you in a minute. Alright. Get this shit sorted. So guys. First clip of the day. I don't have a lot of time. We've got a 12 hour shift as per usual. You guys know how it is. I've brought all the food that I need to keep me in a caloric surplus throughout the 12 hours. And I'll show you guys exactly what I brought right now. Um, three ingredients, guys. Fuck off, fly. God damn. Three ingredients, three main ingredients, which I'm gonna cook up all together, make a massive meal, and just space it out basically three times throughout the day. The three ingredients are kangaroo mints or kangaroo burgers. Um, macros, unbelievable. 27 protein, three fat, no carb, and you've got three serves in a pack, so it's about 80 grams of protein right here. As well as that, we've got brown rice, so 450 grams. Total macros, we've got 20 protein, 12 fat, and like 150 carbs. So 20 protein, 80 protein, we've got 100 protein, not much fat, and you know 150 grams of carbs. So as well as that, I've got English muffins. We've got three of these, each muffin, 4.8 protein, 1.3 fat, 25.7 carb. So another 75 grams of carbs and another 15 grams of protein. So 115 protein and 225 carb. So as well as those, we've got chickpeas. These have been a staple of my diet for the last probably about two months. I really enjoy them. I like putting different sauces, seasonings, put it, putting them with stuff, you know, rice. Um, they're fantastic, great source of protein and carbohydrates, good source of fiber. You can't go wrong. I mean, they don't taste like a fucking apple scroll is gonna taste, but as far as getting the nutrients in and a good source of carbs, getting that fiber in, you can't go wrong. So. What do we got here? Three serves, each serve, five protein, 1.6 fats, 14 carb, no sugar, and five grams of protein per serve, uh, five grams of fiber per serve, sorry. So basically guys, these three ingredients are gonna be prepared, seasonings, sauces, all mixed together, and put in a big Tupperware container like that. And this is the sauce actually, that I shall be using, which is fountain. I've bought one other thing, my caffeinated beverage of choice this morning, which is Utopia. If you guys don't know, now you know. That's what it looks like. And it tastes very nice. It's probably one of the nicest tasting um, supplements I've ever had. Peach mango flavor. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to head back inside. Make my clients some breakfast, get my food on, I'm going to cook it up pretty soon and as I said eat it throughout the day and I'll see you guys in about 11 hours time when I get home. Alright guys, glasses on. It's been a pretty fucking shit day here in Alice Springs eh? Raining the whole day, no blue sky, it's not normal. I'm pretty fucking exhausted so first thing, first thing guys, let's get a close up on this shit. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? But you don't exactly want it to be frozen. Which is exactly what it is. <laughs> it's been in the freezer for about two hours. Um, guys, definitely, definitely in need of one of these. Um, feeling, feeling fucking exhausted right now, to be fair. 12 hour shifts, man, they, they take it out of you. It's about six at night. Everything's done clients happy, watching movies. Now it's my time to do what I need to do, which is some editing. So that food that you saw me bring this morning, I prepared, but never got a chance to eat it. So I'm probably gonna have at least one meal of it now. Um, probably, maybe another one before I train, I'm not really not sure, but I finish work at nine. So after that, be going home, getting changed and heading to the gym. So with the food that I bought, um, basically, you know, those three ingredients I've used very regularly over the last three weeks just to give me a good amount of carbs you know good good carbs good protein so I can take it with me in that big container and 
have an easily accessible meal throughout the day. So today was no different. I, first thing I do is usually I, I grab a tin of chickpeas, I drain them out because um, that liquid in them is just kind of weird. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I drain them out, I pour them in, the rice gets cooked or heated up and then pour that in and then I'll cook up the meat. So it was kangaroo patties today. Very easy, you know, light bit of oil in the pan, um, fried on both sides. I cut them up in pieces, chuck them in the container with some satay sauce on the top and then I'll just shake it all around and it will come out like a really nice meal. So that was that guys, that was at about that was at about quarter past nine this morning and it's like six at night so it's been a while. Honestly, half the game in this job, especially with the long hours like this, is just killing time. It's getting through the day, to be fair, um, without any dramas. So today's been good. But like I said, definitely need some energy and I'm going to sit down and do some editing. So I'm not only going to do some editing on these videos, but I'm also just going to quickly grab the training footage that I've got so far and try and just do a, you know, aesthetics, motivation, um, gym sort of workout video. So, so it's probably going to take about an hour to do. I'm not sure. You know, editing is something you sit down, you really, if, you, if you're if you really liking the product that you're creating, two hours can just go like that. I might sit down now at six o'clock. I might honestly, if I get really into it, I might look at the clock and it will be eight o'clock and I'll be like, fuck, one hour to go, boom, bingo. Anyways, quick update. I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right guys, so it's about eight o'clock. I had a small helping of that food that I brought to work. And now I've stolen some wheat bix So it's gonna be a pre-workout meal. I'll probably be training at about 9.30. Um, it's meant to be legs, but God, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I really gotta be in the right mood to do some legs, as you guys probably relate to. Um, so yeah, pre-workout meal. And I have done some editing, and I did put together a little um, edit, gym edit. And I want to know your guys' opinion. You know, this took me probably about an hour, nothing much. I haven't put in a huge amount of effort, but you know, this is something that I've been able to create fucking easily. You know, if I did put in a lot of time and, and learnt editing techniques and things like that, maybe I'd be able to make something pretty epic. But I'm going to show you guys that right now. So without further ado, let's check it out. I can't look you in the face I don't 